Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite humanoid penguin, Gardner, the Linux gamer. I'll take it. This video is brought to you by my 140 amazing patrons over on Patreon, including the support of NQBW. Dude, your support is truly appreciated. If you enjoy this video, you can hit that like button. It really helps the show out. You can also subscribe to see more videos like this. You can ring that notification bell if you're so inclined. You can also follow this show on LBRY, beta.lbry.tv slash at the Linux Gamer. And uh, if you don't know, LBRY is a totally decentralized, uh, free and open source alternative to YouTube, and it's just fantastic. <sighs> Holy cow. All right, this is going to be kind of a short video. Uh, I am in the process of getting ready to move. As a consequence, uh, I'm actually doing four days a week at my old day job in order to tie up some loose ends and get ready to get out of Maine. So with that being the case, I really don't have a lot of time during the week to actually make Friday videos. So we're going to do a couple shorter videos from now on, um, from now until I move anyway. This one is going to be a quick PSA. So here's the problem. Uh, if you have uh, Destiny 2 and you want to, uh, to run Destiny 2 on Linux through Proton, well, it doesn't work no matter what. But if you were able to get it successfully running, you would be banned by Bungie. That's right, permanently banned by Bungie. Uh, a user on the Bungie forums named Minty asks, uh, does not compatible mean that I'll get banned? I guess what I'm asking is, if I manage to get Destiny 2 running on Proton, will it get me banned? The not compatible with Steam Play's Proton line is listed under account security and not a bannable offense. But what does scare me is this line specifically, modified operating system files including emulators and virtual machines. Does Proton fall under emulator, even though it's part of Steam? And uh, at BNG Security on the, the Bungie forums replied and said, Destiny 2 on PC only supports Windows. Linux via Proton is not supported and is considered a modified operating system, as is Wine and other emulation services. Okay, first of all, Proton is not an emulator. I, I, I probably don't need to tell you guys this, but I'm going to speak directly to Bungie for a moment. Bungie. Wine and Proton are not emulators. In fact, Wine stands for Wine is not an emulator. It's a recursive acronym. Uh, it's pretty fascinating how that works. So if you're ever looking in like your game's um, directory, right, and you see, you know, a bunch of .dll files on Windows, basically what happens is Wine and Proton by extension work to create uh, low level system call replacements for applications that depend on Windows system calls. So calls to the Windows kernel, calls to uh, shared resources like uh, system DLLs on Windows, all of those or, or many of those functions uh, that, that the Windows kernel and system resources provide to Windows applications, Wine works by providing interpreters that uh, connect Windows system calls to Linux functions. And in many, many instances, Windows applications running in Wine work better and faster and more reliably than their, uh, the same program running natively on Windows. And it works to interpret that and make um, the, the native x86 code of the game or whatever application run against dependencies the like the DLL files that you ex that the application expects to have in Windows and it makes it run natively on your system. It's actually pretty ingenious, super cool and I am very very uh pleased with how fast Proton has progressed and how well it supports so many games on uh, on on Steam for Linux. So the fact that BNG security uh, are actively hostile towards Proton just kind of doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Now, I was looking through the comments on this post on uh, on our Linux on Reddit, and uh, I have to say some people just there, there's a bit too much conspiracy theory. Uh, some people don't realize that Bungie are not owned by Microsoft anymore. Microsoft and Bungie split ways around the time uh, that uh, Re Halo Reach was uh, released. Um, and they went to work for Activision, uh, and they are no longer with Activision anymore either. This is really a, a, a Bungie thing. This is probably more of a technology thing as uh, from what I gather in this post, um, the anti-cheat system that they've developed in-house requires some really low-level Windows 
uh, libraries that Pr Proton and Wine just don't support yet. But yeah, there is a, a significant amount of uh, disappointment here, uh, and and rightfully so. I mean, I've heard a lot of good things about Bungie uh, or about Destiny too. I've never played it myself. I don't really like uh, online multiplayer games, especially online multiplayer games that are solely focused on online multiplayer. Uh, so. Uh, this really isn't my kind of game, but I wanted to uh, get this message out there that if you guys have Destiny 2 and you are trying to run it, if you manage to get it running through uh, Proton, you will be permanently banned uh, according to uh, one of the security guys at Bungie. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. Just a quick public service announcement for my friends out there. Stay safe, Linux gamers. Stay safe. If you believe in the work that I do, you can support this show with a monthly contribution over on Patreon. You can also support the show on LibrePay, which is the free and open source alternative to Patreon. Uh, but no matter what you do, whether you pick up a t-shirt, hit that like button, or share this video with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. And as always, thanks for watching.